Leprosy, or Hansen's disease, was greatly feared in the ancient world, so much so that religious laws designed to protect the community were extremely rigorous. Hello, Father James Kubicki here, and I thought of this because of today's readings at Mass. In the first reading from Leviticus, the law states clearly that anyone who had even a scab or blotch that looked like leprosy must cry out, unclean, unclean, to warn people away from him. It goes on to say that a leper had to make his abode outside the camp. And anyone who came into contact with a leper made himself unclean by doing so. This is why the compassion of Jesus is so beautiful in today's gospel, where it says that Jesus moved with pity, stretched out his hand, and touched the leper, thus making himself unclean. Jesus reached into the man's misery and isolation and healed him, bringing him back into the community. Jesus reaches into the misery and isolation of every sinner and brings us back into communion with God and the community. This is one way of understanding St. Paul's words in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, 20 to 21. So we are ambassadors for Christ, as if God were appealing through us. We implore you on behalf of Christ, be reconciled to God. For our sake, he made him to be sin who did not know sin, so that we might become the righteousness of God in him. As Jesus touched the leper and became unclean in the eyes of the people of his time, so he took upon himself the sins of the world, allowing them to be nailed into his body on the cross. And so he calls us as his body, the body of Christ, to continue his work of reconciliation.